Hey everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you the fastest way to create a typewriter animation in After Effects at different skill levels. We'll go from zero to pro in just three minutes. Let's get started. Basic level. Let's create a simple typewriter animation. First, select the type tool, write your text, and adjust it in the character window. Now head over to the mobile panel, click on the text tools, and choose typewriter. Next, click on your text layer in the timeline and press U on your keyboard. This will reveal two keyframes, one for the start and one for the end of the animation. To speed up or slow down the animation, just move the second keyframe closer or further away. And that's it. You've got your typewriter effect. Intermediate level. In this part, we'll make it look like the cursor deletes the old text and types something new. First, select your text layer, go to text, then source text, and set a keyframe. Move a few frames forward, double-click your text, and change it. The new text will update at that keyframe. Repeat this step for the last word. Once the first typewriter animation finishes, we want to replace the old text with the new one. Move around the second word and set a keyframe at 100%, and a few frames after that, change the value to 0%. This creates a reverse typewriter effect. Instead of 0, set the value to 30% to keep the first letter visible. Since the next text starts with the same letter, we'll keep it here. Now set up the typewriter effect again to reveal the second word, going from 30% to 100%. Let's repeat this process for the final text. Go from 100% to 0% to create a reverse typewriter effect. Give it a little pause and then set it back to 100%. Tweak the keyframes as needed and you're all set. Advanced level. In this part, we'll add some camera movement to make the animation look more dynamic and professional. Start by turning the text layer into 3D. Head to Mobar's Composition menu and choose Create Camera Rig. This will give you an easy-to-use camera setup, and you'll see the camera settings in the Effects Control Panel. Open the Auto Movement section and increase the track speed to create smooth, continuous motion. You can also adjust the Y-axis rotation to add a slight angle as the camera moves. Now, enable the Auto Focus option and set your text layer as the focus. This keeps your text sharp while the camera is in motion. If the text becomes too blurry when zooming in, add a keyframe for the blur value and reduce it at the end of the zoom to maintain clarity. Finally, let's customize the cursor. Select your text layer, then go to the Effects Control Panel to make adjustments. I'll make the cursor wider and shorter, then adjust its position, and let's pick a bright green color for it. For an extra visual touch, let's add a solid layer and make it 3D. Then I'll use Mobar's Quick Search shortcut to find the grid effect and apply it to our solid layer. Tweak the grid settings until it looks great when the camera zooms in. This adds a nice background detail as the camera moves closer to the text. That's all for today. You can download the project files from the link below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.